I would like to show you the end result of using a template which comes with Unreal Studio. So if you have your project, your new project, you have the tab for Unreal Studio and you have this one, the Product Viewer tab. Um, it is a default template and the template has some building functionality and you can extend on the functionality, you can of course replace the model and everything else and I want to show you the end result I got. Um, I will show you how to do it and how to add stuff and so on in a later tutorial. But first let's look at this one, what I did. So I did it already, so here it is. Um, this is my car which I brought in from Rhino and it's the only thing I did was use the importer basically here, added some materials and changed some naming conventions and all that other stuff which we talked about, flip normals and so on. So now if I play, I press play, this template kicks in. So all this functionality you will see now has been made available for you by the people from Unreal. So if you press start, you see what happens. This is zoom in, zoom out is of course uh, functionality. You can highlight stuff, you can put a, a marker and that marker will then be the center of rotation for uh, things. By pressing your middle mouse button you will zoom in to the selected area and lots of more stuff. So interactivity, full interactivity on your desktop. Now the funny thing is, or the nice thing is, if you press your spacebar you will get a x-ray mode as well. So you can apply x-ray to the objects. So here you go for instance. Um, and in this way you can isolate parts or highlight parts or whatever you want to um, in this built-in functionality. I added some functionality myself, which is now hidden under key F12. So there you go. And now I can change the color of the car on the fly. So I can make it blue, yellow, red, black, and so on. So this is what I can do. So I added this myself. And if you now uh, want to do a desktop experience, you just need to package the project in Windows format. 64 bit for instance. I did that as well, so let me launch that. So this is your standalone interactive experience and of course it looks the same as in the Unreal Engine. So it has the same functionality, so it has the black dot down there for your rotational point. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can click zoom in to certain areas and like I said you can also do the X-ray, so if I press the spacebar, apply X-ray, here you go, and remove the X-ray as well, and with the F12 my functionality kicks in, and it is red, yellow, and whatever car color you would like. So this is what I've been doing, I'll start showing you how you do it, but uh, it's really simple to set it all up, because most of the work has been done, and you can find tutorials in the studio learning material as well on how to set up these kind of things like the uh, color controls which I can make go away by pressing F12 again. And that's it, that's all I wanted to show you but we'll show you more in detail later on.